On this part, you'll learn how to pass data from the home page to the home controller using the form down here. So let's go to Visual Studio. Now you have learned on the previous parts that to pass data from a view to a controller, you can use different methods, but the best way was by using a model. Now, a model, when it was being used just to exchange data between a controller and a view, has a different name, and that was view model. So what we are going to do as a first step is that we are going to create the view model that we're going to use to pass the data. So in here, let us just go to the solution explorer and then inside the shortly client, inside data, then view models, I'll just right click, add a class. I'm going to name this class the post URL VM and I click the add button. Now from the home page to the home controller, we are going to pass a single value and that value is going to be the URL that the user is going to paste or is going to type. So in this VM, we are just going to define a single property and that is going to be of type string. We're going to name it URL. And then in here, we're going to also define the get and the set. Let us save the changes. Now let us go to the solution explorer. In here, let us go to the controller and then the home controller. In the home controller, we currently have a single action and we use this action, the index action, to render the home page where inside that page, we also have the form. So we're going to have in here another action, which is going to be used to handle the form request. So the index is going to render the form. We are going to create a new one to handle the form request. I'll just type in here public I action result. And we are just going to name this action shorten URL. Now here you can either return the user to a successful message view, or you can just return the user to the index view. Or you can just return and then redirect to action and then pass as a parameter the action name, which is the index action. Now, since we are going to use the post URL VM to pass the data, we need to also set it up in the view. In the solution explorer, I'll just go to the views and then home and then index.c sharp HTML. And then here at the top, we are going to define that the model class for this view is going to be the post URL VM. In the home controller, for the initial render to work, you need to pass the post URL VM as a parameter of the view. So for that, I'm just going to create in here a new empty object var new URL is equal to new post URL VM. And then pass this object as a parameter in here. In the index.c sharp HTML, let us scroll down to the form. And here on the form, now we're going to define the controller and the action that is going to handle the request. So for that, I'll just type in here that the controller is going to be ASP controller, the home, and the ASP action is going to be the shorten URL. Now, since we have the ASP controller, we also have the ASP action, and here at the top, we have defined that this is going to be the model. The button, which is of type submit in here, whenever it's clicked, is going to send a request to the home controller, the shorten URL action, and the type or the parameter type is going to be the model of this view, which is the post URL VM. So let us just go to the home controller. And then in here, let us define in here as a parameter that from the view, we are going to send a post URL VM, and then you can give it a name. I'm just going to name it post URL VM in camo case. I'm just going to put a breakpoint in here and then just go back to the view. The last thing that we need to define in here is that we need to define the property 
that we are going to use to bind the data. And for that, you can use ASP4. And since we have the model, we can define in here that the model property is going to be the URL. So we have the ASP4, we have the type, we have a class, we can remove the name or you can use the same name as in here. Then we have placeholder and the autocomplete has been set to off. Let us save the changes. Let us save the changes here in the controller as well. We have the breakpoint. Now let us start the project. Now here I'm just going to type Ervis, which of course is not a valid URL. Shorten it. We reached the breakpoint. If I hover on the post URL VM, you are going to see that the value for the URL property is the value that I provided. But as you can see, this value, of course, is not a valid URL or a valid link. On the next part, you learn how to add data validation so you know that the value that is being passed from the view to the controller is the right value before you store it in the database.